hi guys welcome back to this channel so today we are going to be dressing this particular type of color so let's get into the video the difference between this um, particular color from other types is that it has sharp edges pointed edges which makes it distinct so for this particular pattern so the first thing i'm going to do is to input my neck measurement my neck measurement is 14 inches i'm going to be adding 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance so i'm going to draw a vertical line at the point where it is 7.5 inches that is half of your neck measurement then draw the third line then from point you name this first point a you name this point b so from point B upwards, you measure 0 0.5 inch. After measuring 0 0.5 inch, you divide A to B into three equal parts. So you have 2.5 inches in three places. 2.5, 2.5. Then you name that one, you name that two. So you connect point two to point C. You connect point two to point C. Then after that, you input the height of the color stand. I'm making my 1.5 inches, so you measure 1.5 inches all through. So after measuring 1.5 inches all through, then you connect it. You can use French curve if you are not good. At using hand so the idea is to create a bend at that point a curvy line at that point so after that from point C to B you transfer the measurement to that from that point where I put dots from point D C to to be with the same as D to that point you measure 0 0.5 inches and you connect it to line C after connecting to line C then you create a curve a curve so I'm going to be drafting the color pattern so I'm going to be measuring one inch for button allowance one inch then from that point, 0 0.5 inch. Then you connect the line. The point, you connect the point. So from that point, I'll measure 2 inches. Because I don't want it to be too high. Measure 2 inches. Then from that point, I measure 4 inches. You can transfer the measurement so that it will be straight. So you connect the line, the dot to make a line. Then after that, from that point, you join to that point. Don't mind me, I love using dotted lines because it makes me draw a curvy line. So at that tip, you extend it by three inches or three and a half, depending on how close you want the points to be. Then after that, from that point, you connect to the other point. So I'm going to cut out the pattern.
so this is what it looks like